same thing in the Pacific Ocean, healing, blowing the shofar to all his glory family in that area. Wow. And then we have special visitors coming so that you can cook, and we're going to have a euchre tur tournament. Do you know oh, how to play my. euchre? No, I've never played. <clears throat> we're going to have to teach ever. you. We're going to have to teach you. So we're going we're gonna to have a ball. We're going to have a ball. It sounds it. You know why he's doing this? Because he wants garlic bread. We just have to be honest here. Yep. Dave wants garlic bread. <laughs> Guess who I talked to today? Dr. Sherwood. Dr. Sherwood. I didn't bring up garlic bread. You know what he told me that was cool? Because he's interviewing me for his show as me being the guinea pig of being on his program now for what, yes. uh, two and a half weeks. Now, you're going on the program. I am. Yes, I am. And what it really excited me the most is my conversation with uh, him about Chris. He thinks he can help Chris with this program. He does think he can help Chris. Um, I, I had a, we had a little introduction at the end of my Zoom call with Dr. Sherwood so Chris could meet him. And, um, and let me tell you something. Chris is responsive for the first time ever, you know? He is. I mean, Dr. Sherwood's got a certain way around about him and his, his wife, Dr. Missy Sherwood, yep. have a certain way about them that's just amazing. So once Chris met with him, he started talking to Chris, but I think Chris is now willing to take the jump and do the program. So we're going to fill out, I think, forms for him, too. I'm going to talk to Dr. Sherwood about it. So did but you, he does. He believes he can. Yeah, he does. He's very confident. Did you, did you tell Chris I'm doing it? I did. So we're all I, in it together. You know, it's like two dudes, you know, Dave and Dr. Sherwood, and you know what I mean? <laughs> so maybe that's why Chris is more willing uh, this this time to do it, but yes. Yeah. I didn't bring up garlic bread to him, um, but I. But maybe I, it's okay to. <laughs> if I make it with einkorn flour, you can have it and not feel guilty about it. Yep. Because I asked Dr. Sherwood about einkorn flour. Yep. And it's good for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yes, and public disclaimer, Chris has been a little all over the place the past two days, so we never know when he's going to bust in the office. <laughs> like, <laughs> when, public service announcement, everyone. When you said that, the first thing that came to my mind was Kramer on Seinfeld. Yes, <laughs> he's got hair almost like Kramer, doesn't he? Except for Busting in. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. Uh, there is uh, so much going on. Oh, my goodness. That it's uh, when you had that prophecy about June being explosive uh, from the spiritual realm. Yes. What I'm hearing from the intel realm, it is going to be explosive June. Yeah. Explosive. I'm told a major bomb is about to drop today. So really? I have my iPad with me waiting to see if there's any breaking news from Israel or any breaking news uh, from uh, the U.S., uh, people ask me today, well, what, what is this bomb that's going to be uh, dropped? I have no idea. I know, well, maybe, I know I a couple know. things it could be, but yes. I don't know. Maybe it ties in because a couple things. I have a brand new word from the Lord. So I have it ready to go. And we also have... Um, Quite an incredible prophecy fulfilled to talk about. And then we have to get begin to maybe get into the Gettysburg dream if we have time, because this is still being decoded. OK, so why don't we do this? Um, why don't we go over a couple of the quick notes that I've heard that have broke the oh, last 24 hours and just immediately okay. and some other news. I don't know if I should say it. I, I think I will say it. OK, um, First, uh, I was just told Alex, this has nothing to do with it, but it's pretty interesting. Alex Jones just ran a new uh, video uh, that had General Flynn on it from, and he used the His Glory platform. When, he, when we prayed over General Flynn we, in, in Anthem, yes. Yes. Uh, Alex Jones is running that right now. Wow. Uh, his Glory, uh, us praying with, with General Flynn. Uh, and the Holy Spirit told me uh, just before we came on, planned Pandemic, not pandemic, planned pandemic. Demic. And the two pieces of uh, information that have come out thus far today is uh, was breaking that um, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin moving forward to a, a forensic audit. That's where the folds coming back into play again. They will be able to tell if it's a real ballot or a fake ballot. 
We talked about that a long time ago, and it's coming back. And then Jim Jordan just tweeted out that a, a, a report, this is new, a new report, 2015, that Joe Biden met with Hunter Biden's handler uh, in Ukraine and Russia, contradicting what Joe Biden said on record. So, uh, oopsie. And guess what? One. We know who has Hunter Biden's laptop. Oh. And they're coming on and they're coming on his glory TV. Wow. That's something else. That was one of those um, words I had put out November 2019. The hunter shall become the hunted. And that was November 2019, that word was put out from the Lord. Newspapers worldwide carried that headline yep. when news of the Hunter Biden laptop broke. Ten plus months later. All glory be to God for accuracy. All glory be to God. So I thought I'd get that out first. And then I think now what the best thing to do is to go into your prophetic word and see if that stirs, which I'm sure it will. Um, okay certain things that are going on. I, I think, again, we need to address something that you know, uh, because you've, you've, you've talked to me in private a lot. This last three weeks has been uh, a very difficult three weeks for a lot of people. There's been a lot of attacks and there's a lot of, a lot of things that we have to use discernment on, a lot of uh, false information, some trying to use people for, you don't know who to trust right now. So, you yeah. know, people want to come out and say, well, tell us all the stuff. Just, just throw out all this intel. Well, we don't know what intel is right until the discernment comes out. Because there's people that are bad, uh, that look bad, that are, that are playing a good part. There's good that are playing a bad part. And there's some that are playing both ways. And we have to, we can't get ahead of it. We have to uh, be very, uh, as the Lord told me when we were in the RV coming back from An Anthem, he says, you're, you, you're a bigger target now. Uh, tighten your flank. And keep a, str a, a, a short circle. Um, and that means more than just watching the people around you, but also the circle has to do with firing back, the sniper. So yeah. it, is, uh, it, it, is a, it is a period where we have to use very strong discernment on who to trust, what information is right, uh, because this is the when this is all said and done, this will be the biggest psyop war that the world has ever seen. I agree. Yeah. So we'll try to say as much as we can, but we're not going to go out and say something that could be 80% right or completely wrong based on them trying to tell us to, to say something. Exactly. And then that's called, yep, using wisdom and using discernment. And people following his glory know who I, they can surmise who I talk to, uh, not to all the people I talk to. And obviously because of the people I talk to, uh, in military uh, in the United States and uh, now in, and have been in Israel, um, I can't burn. I can't. Burn, I won't burn those sources. So these operations have to go. They just have to trust the Lord and see things are playing out. Like we said, uh, three forensic uh, 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 audits coming. That's a big deal. And then the why is the Hunter Biden thing coming back again today? And they're ready to expose the laptop. Interesting. And um, we get to Gettysburg. Isn't that in Pennsylvania? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll get to C now, Civil War. Yes. So there is, well, before I go into this word, if you want, there is a big prophecy fulfilled that in a way is showing in a roundabout way the turning of the tide. Okay. I sent it to your wonderful production team. It has to do with, here it is, Princess Diana. Mm. Now, okay? Yep. So I'm going to read the, the excerpt, the short excerpt, then we'll get into the new prophetic word, and then they can post uh, the picture. So this was March 27th, 2021. And in that word, the Lord said, this was the first day of Passover. Palaces shall be struck and royalty challenged as to what happened to their members so long ago. Diana is resurfacing in a whole new way and a key piece of evidence, a certain royal, uh, um, a certain royal forces to the surface shall come too close for comfort, says the Lord. 
this shall be approved proven by events that so occur. And about two months, a little less than two months later, we have this breaking news about how a judge ruled that this interview that Martin Bashir got with Diana was gained under very deceptive means where documents were forged and it set things in motion for not only the crumbling, according to Prince William, of the marriage of his parents, that was the horrific turning point, but basically of Diana's demise as a whole. Mm -hmm. And now this evidence that was suppressed by the executives of the BBC, because that's who this gentleman worked for, Martin Bashir, has now come to the surface that they've done this. And now you've got um, Harry and William coming out swinging in the middle of this. And the the word said Diana would resurface in a whole new way. Yeah, why don't we show that picture? Princess Diana. Here it is. It's Princess Diana scandal is a genuine crisis for the BBC. Dated May 21st, 2021. That's on the screen right now. Yes, exactly. It was an explosive television interview they did. It was suppressed how this reporter obtained this interview. um, And it was now ruled it was through forging documents that he had no right to forge. And now the BBC is on the verge of crisis because of this. There is a huge crisis with the BBC potentially falling apart over this. Mm -hmm. So praise the Lord that that is coming to pass. And it's a turning point. You see these things, these jostlings happening around the world and these things that were so suppressed coming to the surface. And it's a sign of the times. Look how long this was suppressed for. Yeah. So what I got to ask you before you go into the the prophetic word is people ask me this all the time. Uh, what would you say to somebody that is one of those naysayers that's saying nothing's happening? Oh, no. You know, it's all about perspective. It truly is. And there is a ton happening. There is so there is more exposure happening than any time in history. It's just when people say that the events they want to see at that moment are not happening. But there may be a ton of events surrounding it that are happening that will lead to that event. Yep. So there's a lot. Look, look at everything that ha- that's happening worldwide. I did that old thing with Medina Spirit and tying it, that common thread around the world, and it's happening now. And, you know, Israel, what's going on in Israel now, there's a lot happening that is pointing at um, the fact that they're running scared. Yeah. You know, those that that, you know, form this filthy, uh, you know, these, some of these filthy, disgusting plots, it's falling apart on them. Yeah. It is. Uh, We we, may not see it all, but it's falling apart. We had a brigadier general of the IDF on two days ago, and I was surprised how much he shared with his glory family. Um, It was amazing. Uh, And I know that there's a lot of other things happening specifically to Iran, uh, missions. Uh, there was a um, drone facility in Iran that blew, blew up. Mm-hmm. And that's where all the drones came from for weapons uh, in Gaza for Hamas. Completely destroyed, gone. And another cyber hit took out a key component of their um, nuclear weapons. I'll tell you something else very interesting that was sent to us. Remember in that word, it talked about their rockets will fail. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There is a report that just came out. Um, they they tracked this between May 10th and May 21st. 680 Hamas rockets misfired and fell in Gaza. They never met their target. Mm-hmm. They just failed mm-hmm. and fell uh, into Gaza. So that's something new that's out as well. Yep. Praise the Lord. That's just the beginning of what the Lord's going to do. But yeah, so there's a lot surrounding this whole um, battle in Israel right now. Do you remember the the, the first Gulf War <clears throat> where uh, yes. Saddam Hussein was sending Scud missiles against Israel to try to provoke the Middle East uh, to yes. take it away from the United States? 
There was a caption in one of the, one of the uh, Arab papers where they said, their God, meaning the God of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is redirecting the Scud missiles because none of the Scuds hit anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. And God has more than the capability to do such. Yep. So, you know, praise the Lord that he is, um, you know, the, Israel is the apple of his eye and he fights for Israel. And um, they're fighting the Lord. At this, You know, they think they're fighting Israel. They're fighting a force far greater that they don't have an answer for. Yep. So, they I know. They certainly are. Mm -hmm. And there's three, okay. there's three levels of defense. So you mentioned the ones that did not fire but they're still firing. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to sneak them in from Syria up to Lebanon. Hezbollah attacks Israel from the north. Yes. You have Gaza. That's where Hamas is attacking the United States. You have the Houthis now coming down by Egypt, threatening Israel. So Israel has a three-pronged defense mechanism. They have the arrow system that is the local. They have what David Sling for mid-range, and they have a dome, iron dome, uh, for the third. But even though they have all three, people say, well, they're blocking them. They're, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, the general's house was destroyed a few years ago. That was on Israeli general, gone, just completely gone. They block 90% of them, but still 10% get in. And these, the, the, the people of Israel are under panic uh, of, of, of war and bombs every single time this event happens. And we need to pray for biblical Israel. Uh, yes. This is this. They need prayer right now. And they are our Jewish brothers and sisters. And yes, we do need to pray for them. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm sure there's more to come. I'm sure. There is. The so it comes there, out. There's more, there is more to come. We have five more Israeli generals lined up to come on. And uh, they're ready to share because they, they believe now. Uh, I believe one of the first times ever that the more they get out there, be, because people are going to twist the truth anyway, so they're being more open with what they're doing, which was kind of shocking to me, because uh, Israel is usually pretty quiet about these kind of things. They usually yes. d don't, d they don't admit it or deny it, but now they're being a little bit more open. So it would be interesting to see these next five generals come on and see what they have to say. Yes, and you know, the fact they are ready to share, it's, it's, very, you know, it's very telling. Mm-hmm. You know, yep. it's a new strategy yep. maybe that they're using. So there's a little bit about Israel in this word. Talks about it. Perfect time to tee up the word. Okay. Okay. So everyone knows what I'm about to pray before we go into this word. This one's a doozy. I have to say, like, there are some words that have um, more in a way fire behind them than others. This happens to be one that's pretty, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty strong. So, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, by the spirit of the one true living God, may only the truth come forth. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, I ask you fill our mouths with your words. And Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, you fill our mouths, our souls, our spirits with your words, wisdom, knowledge, revelation, pinpoint precision and accuracy and prophetic insight and utterance, discernment and discerning of spirits, counsel, might, power, and the reverential fear of the Lord, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. In the joy of the Lord, let it be sealed by the blood of Jesus. Amen and amen. amen. Okay, praise the Lord.